Hi YouTube and welcome back. In today's video, we are finally going out of the drawdown. It started very slow, but it ended very good. So stay tuned and check it out. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the morning forex 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 market analysis, my pre-market analysis that I do each and every day in the morning. Uh, however, I got late today, uh, like something like 20 minutes late, even after uh, the market market time period when I'm trading actually uh, started because I, you know, I fell asleep very, very late uh, yesterday and uh, I slept only for like four hours. So and I didn't see any opportunities when I was going to sleep. So I said, OK, I can I can afford to get up a little bit uh, later. So basically, there is nothing here. Uh, let's go just through, uh, through the analysis and we have very, very slow week in the markets for me. There hasn't been a single trade. So there is nothing basically on the radar that I can see right now besides, besides this potential Gartley that you're going to see here in this pair and maybe on some other pair something else. So basically the Gartley would be if this happens in the market, we will see what the price action going to do. But this is X to A, A to B. B to C there and then C to D, uh, B to C there and then C to D. We will see what's gonna happen. Uh, that's it on this pair. Aussie CAD, Whew. there is nothing that, yeah, I'm not gonna trade this big one. Uh, I mentioned in last video, I think it's over 100 periods for one leg, which I'm not trading. Hand, over 100 candles, that means. Here, I don't see anything here. That would be of my interest. Yeah. Let's see this. Yeah, nothing here. So I'm just gonna leave it and wait. Euro dollar. We might have something like I don't know. Yeah. Nothing here. Maybe a bad pattern like if X to A to B, B to C, C to D. We will see throughout the day. I'm not putting my hopes in it, but yeah, we will see. Then we have GBP USD, very similar movement to the Euro dollar. So I'll be just, I'll be just eyeing out this move here or this, but this is far away from even getting a potential pattern. Not even, you know, I'm not going to speak about entries. Pound yen. Also, we have a move up. Then some kind of a, I could call it a flag. I would actually go long on this pair right now, but uh, we will see. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, for now, it, the pair is consolidating, but uh, I would dis I would consider going long. I don't see any patterns right now. X to A to B, B to C, C to D. If that happens, I will definitely be engaging in it. But besides that, I don't see anything else. Can it? Yeah. I can't trade Gartley, so we will see what's going to happen. Uh, Aussie USD came up here. Sorry. USD Caddy, Aussie Cat, yeah, sh should be here. So Aussie USD also nothing. Yeah, well, that that's what's happening. I haven't been uploading videos because there's nothing in the market for us. So far, at least for me. So I'll be just sitting on my hands, waiting for the opportunity, and then I'll take it. With that being said... Uh, if you're new, then consider subscribing. But if you're not new, please, guys, make sure to click that like button. Also, <laughs> share the video, post a comment, leave me a question. I'll, I answer all of those questions. I check out all of my comments. And let's go from there. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and talk to you soon. Hi, guys and girls, and welcome back to the afternoon session. Although I was thinking it's going to be another slow day, four days without a Putting a trade on, I was wrong. We actually netted 80 pips today. We got a two target winner on pound yen, and I'm gonna show you which one was it. I also uh, documented it via stories and uh, one post on Instagram, so make sure to check it out as well. So, on the USD CAD, we didn't have much movement today. I at least we didn't have anything that I would get engaged with uh, from today's morning actually what this is well if we had this i did not or i still have a chance yes that's okay 
uh, X to A, A to B right there, touching the 50, B to C, C to D all the way down here, and uh, we have six pip. We are six. We were six pips away from the target, and uh, but the thing is that I need to trade it within within my time period, which is about to be finished. So I have like what one two more hours. So I'm gonna set up myself an alarm here if the site if the alert is sorry wrong alert. Uh, there we go. If the price comes back down, then I will look for buying opportunities X to A, A to B, B to C, C D completion all the way down here, looking for a bad pattern. Uh, Aussie CAD, nothing, nothing as I said in the morning session, nothing here for me today. Aussie USD, nothing as well. So we will just skip through this. I don't see anything that I would like to trade. Then we have Euro Dollar. I was looking at the X, X to A, A to B, B to what? C here. And but that got, that got blew out of the water. So nothing else. But I'm looking at something different right now. Uh, this would be this pattern right here, bigger bad pattern. Uh, let me draw it out. So we have a triangle, we have X to A, A to B, then we have a B to C and a CD completion down there. If that happens, I'm going to place myself an alert here. So there we go. Alert is set. Now I'm, I can leave my charts off. I don't need to check that out. Pound dollar, Whew, nothing, nothing here, at least not for now. Let me check, maybe this might be a guard for me. No, this touching 7086, no, nothing here for me. And then we have our today's winner, which is Pony and Bad Pattern, as we predicted in the morning session, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to completion, and we got, it, it came to the pip, got us, uh, no, took our, took our pending orders and then almost hit targets one and two within an hour came like a few pips away from the targets uh let me let me draw it away let me draw it for you x to a a to b b to c right there and then we have like something like this so it almost came to our targets to within our first hour of trading so we had an X uh, first target got hit for 30 pips like in 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 an, in less than an hour then we almost came to hit our targets two six pips away but we didn't then uh, we got this you know pause of price action didn't move much and then we had a one strong candle down we hit our second targets for 50 pips and we actually netted 80 pips today so here is the my uh, history of trades and we are we netted 29 almost 30 pips in the first trade and 51 pip in the second trade 80 pips and now we are in green after a small drawdown we we are up 10 uh, 10 euros almost 10 euros which is which makes us up around what half of a percent we will see how will this continue throughout this month and throughout this year but we are i should say on a good start especially this is my first time uh, live trading after uh, a year of backtesting plus i'm still backtesting and adding strategies to my portfolio and with that being said click that like button if you like this content also if you're new and consider subscribing because i do this on a daily basis plus i add some of the uh teaching educational videos regarding investments and regarding forex and forex trading as well and i interview a bunch of cool people that are already so successful when it comes to trading stocks or forex and many more things so yeah click that subscribe button smash that bell button and click a share button so that we can help as many people as possible with that being said that brings us to the end of this session thank you very much for staying to the end and talk to you soon probably tomorrow morning if there's going to be some kind of an action in the market speak soon bye bye